If non-Christians look at the sweating, bleeding figure of Jesus being crucified on Good Friday, do they see another state-sanctioned murder or a just end to a rebel? When Christians look at the same scene, what do they see? St. Augustine said that the chief cause of Jesus Christ's coming was so that people might know how much God loves them. Now we know as humans that love is kind, healing and reassuring. So how can God's love be like this brutal act? It seems a strange way to show love. But is it strange? Don't humans suffer when they see their children or friends making a mess of their life? Don't they suffer with, on behalf of, and because of those that they love? If people don't want to suffer in this way, they should never love anyone or anything. Just before his crucifixion, Jesus washed his followers' feet and told them to love each other as he had loved them. So Christians believe that Jesus' suffering on the cross is not the suffering of a defeated, crushed individual, but God suffering with and because of those he loves namely you and me. Christians believe that Jesus' nailed, outstretched arms are much more than pure brutality. They are the arms of one who loves, pleading to be loved in return. So Jesus is either an unfortunate, deluded fool or he is God who shares our fragile lives and invites us to respond to his love for us. Now no one, not even God, can make us respond to any love we may be offered. We choose to respond. Now there is plenty of love in the world, but it can easily become perverted there is no shortage of acts of courageous self-giving. But we also see the opposite, which is not hate, but control, manipulation and persecution. We see generosity and care for others. But there's also greed and avoidance of responsibility. Achievement is recognised but there is also the crushing of hopes and dreams. So what will you see on Good Friday? Will it be good because you see God showing that patience, meekness, forgiveness and selfless love is stronger than evil? Will you see him reaching out to you, inviting you to love him and each other? Will it be good because you choose to respond positively to a new life? Or will Friday, March the 30th, be just another brick in the wall of your life? And may God bless you. And I wish you all a very holy, holy week and a joyous Easter. Thank you.